this is part 4 of sanity BTD series so if you have not watched the first three videos i will recommend you to watch the first three videos then come to this video so in this video i'm going to explain the sanity.properties and sanity.com file so let me open the sanity.properties so as we all know so palm.xml is the main file for the payment project in the same way sanity.properties is the main file for the sanity BTD framework we need to add the properties so that will align as part of integration with sanity BTD. let's see what are the properties i have added here as part of uh, sanity properties the first property is sanity.project.name so the tag name which is the key key value should be uh, exact the same thing we should not change anything and the value place we can change as per our convenience so the sanity.project.name is the key value and the value is sanity with jbehave so here you can place your project name so you can place your own project name and the second property is implicit weight as we are working with selenium we usually get synchronization issues to avoid that we are using implicit and explicit weight as part of that sanity bdd has provided one property for the implicit weight so no need to write the code extra code for the implicit weight directly we can mention what is the time period we can wait as the element visible or intractable so for that we need to use the property called webdriver.timeouts.implicit weight i have given it as 5000 milliseconds which is 5 seconds and the third property is the explicit weight so we can use webdriver weight or fluent weight here Sanity BDD provided you a property called webdriver.wait dot for timeout. I have given 3000 milliseconds, which is 3 seconds. You can give as many milliseconds as you can. So by default, it will it will wait for 3000 seconds for the explicit wait. So these are all the default values. In the code, we can change from one element to other element as per our convenience. So this is the default time. If you have not given the time in the code, it will take the default time as per the synchronization. And the fourth point is sanity dot take dot screenshots so you don't need to write the explicit uh, action for taking the screenshot if you write this one property sanity automatically takes screenshots whenever you want so you can add for each action so for each action you will take the screenshot or else you can also add before and after each step so as per your convenience you can take screenshots just to add this property it will take the screenshot and the fifth property is sanity dot full page screenshot so if you want to take the entire screenshot of the page you need to make it as true or else you can make it as false and the last one is show the in-depth in deep details so whatever the test case you have run it will show the step details in detail in the report so these are all the properties which we can use as part of our framework so mostly it is using for reporting purpose it will show the in detail report when the test cases are executed and the second important file which we have placed in the resources folder which is sanity.config so in this file uh, we have placed the drivers so whatever the where, like uh, drivers we are going to use i have mentioned the executable files here so as we are working with different uh, operating systems like Windows, Mac, Linux, based on that, I have segregated into three uh, three objects here. One is Windows, Mac, and Linux. As I'm working on Windows, I can use different browser. For example, I have placed here four browsers, Chrome, Gecko, IE, and Edge. So accordingly, I need to place the dot extensions files. If you have not placed, that's okay. But uh, if in some projects, they will not allow to download from externally. So I'm using it here as an extension file. So we can also place Mac, and Linux based on your operating system, Sanity will identify the operating system and pick the driver files. Okay, so this is all about Sanity.config file and uh, Sanity.properties. So in the upcoming videos, uh, I will show you how to create the JBehave stories and integrate JBehave stories with the step definitions. Okay, next video we will discuss the fifth part of the Sanity BDD series. Thank you.